there, seasoned investors. We know you've been hearing a lot about the renters' rights bill recently, and there's been a lot of misinformation floating around. So, we've created this video to bust some of the most common myths and set the record straight. Let's dive in. Myth number one, landlords will no longer be able to evict tenants. This is simply not true. The focus of the renters' rights bill is to prevent unjustified evictions whilst continuing to allow legitimate ones. For example, landlords will still be able to evict for rent arrears, but the arrears threshold will change from two months to three months, and the required notice period will change from two weeks to four. Severe antisocial or criminal behaviour will also now be mandatory grounds for eviction. Myth number two, landlords won't be able to gain possession for personal reasons. Should you or a close family member need to move into the property, or if you wish to sell your investment, you will still be able to evict your tenant. However, a tenant must be granted a minimum of 12 months on any new tenancy, and there will be a requirement to provide them with four months notice if you're looking to sell or move in. The reality is that if you need your property back for a genuine reason, it can happen. Myth number three, landlords will not be able to increase the rent and there will be a rent cap. The new bill is not being introduced to stop landlords from getting the value of rent they deserve, but to stop unfair rent increases. You will still be able to increase the rent once a year up to the market value at that time. This will be done using the current Section 13 notice, although two months notice will need to be provided as opposed to the current one month. Myth number four, my property will be damaged by being forced to accept pets. The bill will mean landlords will only be able to refuse a pet request for a legitimate reason, such as the property's freeholder or superior landlord not permitting pets in the governing lease. Despite losing the option to refuse pets, landlords will be able to stipulate that tenants must take out insurance to cover pet damage. Myth number five, landlords will find the new dispute resolution process time consuming and expensive. The aim is to provide a more efficient and cost effective way for landlords and tenants to resolve disputes. It may involve mediation or arbitration, which can be quicker and less expensive than going to court. The Ombudsman will also provide guidance and support to landlords to assist with complaint handling. Timings and the final version of the bill introduction are yet to be confirmed. However, it is predicted that royal assent will happen in spring. And if this is the case, the Renters' Rights Bill is likely to come into force in early autumn 2025 and will apply to all tenancies, new and existing. We hope that busting these myths have addressed some of your concerns about the Renters' Rights Bill. If you have any further questions or other topics you would like advice on, call us today. Visit our website for contact details.